Hi everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a MAC haul video. I do have quite a bit of MAC products to share with you. And like I said, it's a haul, but I didn't just go out and get them all at once. I've actually been saving them up all summer. Some of them I kind of broke into and started using and I didn't include everything, but I've been taking advantage of some sales at MAC. I do have two stores close by the Company Cosmetics store at my outlet mall and they sell MAC at very, very deep discounts there. If you have an outlet mall and you have this store there, definitely check it out. But sometimes it's picked through at this store and even closer, I have a Company Cosmetics edit near my house in a strip mall, like at a little outdoor mall that we have. And they always have MAC there for 40% off and they have so many products. So whenever I see a MAC product that I want, I check there first. If they don't carry it, then I'll wait until Macy's has a sale. And when Macy's has sales on MAC, they are like pretty deep discounts, like 40% off. So then I'll shop then. So I almost always buy my Mac on sale. If you check Dillard's, Belk, Macy's, um, Nordstrom is, doesn't seem to be so great with their sales for Mac, but those stores definitely watch. They have sales pretty frequently, and that's a great time to pick up Mac. But I have fallen in love with Mac. I just get excited about Mac and Lancome and Clinique and Bobbi Brown. And, um, the way Mac and Lancome and Bobbi Brown just look on my vanity just pleases me. I just love the sleek black packaging. Um, I love that there's nothing fussy. Um, I like that the names of their products aren't overly sexualized. So I am just going to show you the products that I picked up this summer at Mac. And some of them are free products because Mac has the back to Mac program. So if you have empties, you can bring them back for them to like recycle and reuse and you get free products. So one of the free products that I chose was my Mac Prep and Prime and this is the Fix Plus and I got it in a lavender. So um, I'm excited to have a full size. I was purchasing these little minis. You can get these at the you can get these everywhere. I like at the department store and at the company cosmetics store and the Mac store and places like that. But this is nice for travel or like in your purse. So if you're not familiar with this product is a lot of people think it's a setting spray, but it's actually a multi-use product, multitasker. It's really a hydrating product. So if before you put on your foundation, you mist it over your face, and these are really nice because they lock and the mist is very gentle. It doesn't spray, it mists, so it's really nice. And so you put it on your face prior to putting on your foundation and it will hydrate your skin for your foundation. And then if you put on powdery products like powdery blushes or setting powders and you want to sort of um, have that powder melt into your skin. You do another spritz and it will just melt right into your skin, but you won't lose that sort of matte finish if you're using a mattifying product. So it's really nice for that. It's also really nice if you use like loose pigments or even eyeshadows that you can use wet to dry. You spray a little of this on your brush and it will wet your brush and not mess with the formula of your eyeshadow at all. I really like this for using when I want to wet my foundation brushes and things, or my um, eyeshadow brushes and things like that. So the next product that I got for free with my Back to Mac was a lip liner. I chose a lip liner in Spice and I've been wanting some MAC lip liners for a really long time, but I just didn't want to spend the money. I wasn't wearing lip liners a whole bunch, so I was just purchasing Rimmel, which are great. I think they're absolutely fine, but I wanted to purchase some nicer lip liners. So I picked up MAC in Spice and it looks like this. So it's a really pretty sort of warmer color that would go with any of my warmer shade lipsticks, any of my corals, any of my spicy kind of browner leading shades. And I got that. And then over the summer, I also picked up two more and this one is called 
boldly bare and I thought this would be really pretty with my nudes. So this is boldly bare and it's just a really pretty soft nude. On the camera, it looks like it's Tran like here, it looks like it's translating kind of a coral, but it's not. It's just sort of like a nudie pink, like it looks like here. And I did recently order a third one from Macy's when they had a Mac sale. It could still be going on, so check Macy's or Belk or Dillard's. But I ordered Dervish, which is more of a mauve, so that should be coming in the mail. So I'm excited to get that one because I really like them a lot. This is not new. I just put it in the bag to show you. This is my favorite foundation from MAC and it's the Studio Fix Liquid and it does have an SPF 15. I've used this in videos before and I love it. The only thing that I don't love is that it doesn't have a pump, but at the Edit, the company cosmetics store Edit, they sell all these little MAC accessories like a sharpener for your eyeliners and your lip liners and then a pump for your Studio Fix Fluid. So I'm didn't put it in until right now. I just opened the package and I'm so excited. I love having a pump and I never purchased a pump for this before. I always purchased a pump for um, my double wear from Estee Lauder, but um, it doesn't fit in the, this bottle. So anyway, I got a little pump for my Mac Studio Fit. So another video that Melissa55 made was using paint pot and bougie as a one eyeshadow look and i thought it looked so pretty i was so excited i got it right away and it looks like this it's a shade shifter where it's kind of green to burgundy or copper to burgundy um that's how it looks it's kind of copper when it's on but bergen more burgundy really pretty when i first put it on i didn't like it very much at all i thought it made my eyes look like i had pink eye because i'm so fair and my eyes are so light i wasn't really loving the finished look so i did pick up another paint pot in the shade vintage selection and let me swatch these for you and i like them better together because i like to use this one more as an accent very long wearing it's paint pot we usually we use these like i use painterly and ochre for my eyelid primers so they really stay put you need to use like a makeup remover to get them off and this is vintage selection and it's really light so what i've been doing is taking vintage selection which is sort of um, a brownish um gold shimmer or silver shimmer brownish silver maybe it's so hard to describe this is what it looks like in the pot it's definitely a shimmer and this together and i have them on today together i have bougie in the outer corner and i have vintage selection everywhere else and they're really really nice together and i wanted to try another one that was a matte that was colored not like painterly which is a nude or ochre which is kind of a yellow leaning nude i purchased art thera peachy and it's a peachy nude and it looks like this and it does make a really beautiful one eyeshadow look okay then this one is just a matte it doesn't have any shimmer to it and i thought this one would also be really pretty with vintage selection because this is a matte and i could wear it all over my mobile lid and up through the crease and then i could just put a little vintage selection over it in the middle like as a spotlight so that's really pretty too the paint pots that i have and i wanted to also mention while i'm talking about the paint pots that on september 9th and the 21 days of beauty sale the paint pots are like eleven dollars and it looks like they have all of them there's a very wide selection they're normally like double that so definitely mark that on your calendar if you want to pick up any of the mac paint pots september 9th the 21 days of beauty sale so i wanted to let you know that when i made a video recently 
talking about the bougie after I got it and said that I thought it was a little too red for me, that I wasn't really comfortable with it. I thought it looked like I have pink eye. My subscriber friend Marge said, well, you should try the loose pigments in blue brown. And she said, it's kind of the same look, but instead of being red and greenish like that or copper it's blue and brown so I did pick up the loose pigments and this is in blue brown and you could use these dry but these are also where your fix plus and your makeup eye makeup brush come in because you can use them wet as well and the fix plus is a great way to use these so this is blue brown and I'm going to swatch that right here on my wrist so instead of being red and green or copper this is like brown with a slate blue twist and I love it it is so pretty for a one eyeshadow makeup look I wish it was in a paint pot because it's a little bit easier in a paint pot you know there are, it's a cream and you can just swipe your finger in it whereas you do need to use a brush with this or you can just put a little on your finger and pat it on but it just um you know it's just a different formula so anyways the blue brown is really gorgeous and if you would like to see a one eyeshadow look using that i'd be happy to do that okay the next product that i picked up this summer is a new mac msf mineralized skin finish and i don't know what shade mine is i'll link it below and it looks like this it's like a baked mineralized powder and anytime i use a mac msf like on my face it, I just look better in pictures. I look better when I film. It's just so beautiful. Um, it sort of gives you a little bit of a glow from within. Really, really pretty. Um, I can't say enough about this. It's great to have in your purse. The only problem is it doesn't have like a little puff or anything. So you have to bring like a tiny little brush with you. Real Techniques makes a really nice travel brush that you could just throw in your cosmetics case but I love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And then I also picked up a highlighter in Soft and Gentle, and this is mineralized also, and this is what it looks like. So it's the really light one, and it just gives you a really beautiful glow in any MAC blush I wear, or any blush I wear, period. It just looks so pretty. I like to wear this like on the tip of my nose, anywhere you wanna highlight. I don't have a MAC bronzer. I don't think I'm going to get one. Whenever I say that, I end up getting one, but um, I don't have a MAC bronzer. And then I did pick up a few more things from the Edit because all their makeup brushes are like dirt cheap and some of them are 75% off. So I'm going to tell you which ones I got. I didn't even take them, some of them out of the package yet because I wanted to share them with you. This is the MAC 221S. And it's just a really nice um, shader brush. It's not super puffy. It's just like your nice shader brush. And then I got the MAC 218S. And it's like your cone-shaped crease brush. And I'm really excited about that. And then I also got the MAC 239S and this is just sort of like your flatter more nubby smudgy brush or for like putting down color here in the outer corner it's really good for that and they just fit so perfectly I really wanted to get a MAC 217 and they didn't have them and I didn't want to pay full price looking around for it online and I couldn't even find it very easily online at Macy's I found it from like third-party sellers and then there was a big market up, but I did read that a dupe for the MAC 217 is the Sigma E25 blending brush, and it's just your fluffy blending brush. Again, I didn't open it because I wanted to show it to you first. Sigma has a two-year warranty, and actually they're a lot cheaper than MAC brushes if you were to pay full price. I think I paid like $11 for this. Sigma brushes are pretty affordable. So this is supposed to be a dupe for the 217, and this is just like your really nice kind of fluffier blending brush as compared to, which one? 
this one. So you can see this one's a lot larger. So these are the brushes I picked up. So I got a nice set of eye makeup brushes. And I'm gonna look into more Sigma brushes because they are more affordable than MAC. Like if I can't find the ones I want at the outlet store, then I will go with the Sigma. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you is that when I got one of the paint pots at Macy's, it came with a free gift. And the free gift was a Lorac Pro Party Ready palette. Macy's has all these really nice deluxe samples. When they said it was a deluxe sample, I don't know what I pictured, but I didn't picture this. It's in like a nice little case and whoops. And look at this. It says it's a party palette, but I think this would be great for every day. I was like super excited about this. So Macy's does also have, when they have their, um, some of their products. So I got most of them on sale and I don't think you get great free gifts with the sale, although you can add on other products like from Clinique and things like that for a discount, like a little Clinique travel pouch full of cosmetics, little cosmetics like the Black Honey lipstick and maybe an eyeshadow and a makeup remover for like $10. But when they don't have their products on sale, if you're gonna pay the full price, they will often give you a really good deluxe sample. I think that's probably true for Belk and Dillard's as well. So those are always worth checking out when you're buying your Mac. So anyways, that's all I have for you. This video is so long, I didn't want it to so be. Do you have a favorite Mac product that you love or something that you'd really like to get? Don't forget about the September 9th sale at Ulta, 21 Days of Beauty, the paint pots. And um, yeah, thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.